Do you take a look at your poop before you flush? If you don't, you should. What if I told you that most of the things that you're going through within your health is because you're constipated and you don't poo on a regular basis? You have electrolyte imbalances, which means you're always sluggish and tired. You have problems digesting things. Your stomach is very irritable. I mean, the, the list goes on and on and on. That's one of the biggest telltale signs that you're constipated, you're constipated, and you need some form of alleviation. Let's start with aloe vera. Aloe vera is one of the most beneficial, and you can basically find it in almost any grocery store, but one of the most beneficial plants that you'll find on the planet that not only coats the stomach, but help alleviate constipation at a severely high manner. What about dandelion? Let's say if you don't want to do aloe vera, it's too slimy, it's too gross. Dandelion is something that you can blend up in your water, you strain it out, and you just drink the juice that's left of it. And not only does it help you with bowel movements, but it also helps with your liver. So it's a two-for-one special. See, it's little tips and tricks like this that doesn't require five, ten thousand steps that can get you back on track. Yeah, I can sit here and make a five, ten minute video about diet and what you're not doing right and what you're not doing wrong and bash you about it. Or I can just give you the tip is that you need to start your journey. I used to suffer with IBS really, really bad. Back in 2013, when I first got to college, I would go days without having a bowel movement. I ate the wrong thing. I'm in the bed, just huddled up. It's real, real, real bad. And then as I started to become more aware of the things that I need to do as far as eating, exercising, X, Y, and Z, my life got immensely better. But I, I will not sit here and lie to you and say that, oh, well, I just did all of that at one time. No, it was baby steps. The average person needs baby steps. They've been eating a certain type of way for God knows how long. So they only need the first step. So please, I'm begging you, take something from what I just put inside of this video. And I'm also, I'm going to leave you with this one last thing. Third John 1 and 2. Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you even as your soul is getting along well. Now take this scripture and take the tips that I've given you and start your journey. I hope this helped you out, friend. God bless. Have a good one.